This is the 2024 Tesla Cybertruck Foundation Series, and I'm Alanis King with Inside EVs. Today, I want to walk you through five features of this truck and how they work. When Tesla CEO Elon Musk revealed the Cybertruck to the world in 2019, people were skeptical. Rightfully so. It's a strikingly unique design that differentiates itself from every other vehicle on the road. But some critics believe the original design was more of a concept, since with many concept cars, the actual production version looks way different. But the production Cybertruck looks almost identical to that original one from 2019. This Cybertruck is a dual-motor, all-wheel drive model, which means it starts at $80,000. The Foundation Series package allowed it to be delivered early and has a few extra features. That's an extra 20, so we're looking at $100,000 for this truck. This truck also has about 600 horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of 4.1 seconds. This Cybertruck has two really good maneuverability features. One is four-wheel steer and the other is steer by wire. Four-wheel steer is kind of what it sounds like. All four of these wheels steer, making it easier to park and maneuver, kind of like swivel wheels on a suitcase. Steer by wire is a little bit more complicated in pretty much every vehicle ever. When you put in a steering input, that's connected via shaft to the wheels. So you put in that input and then the wheels respond, they're mechanically connected. With steer by wire, your steering wheel connects to a wire, that wire connects to a motor, that motor tells the wheels what to do. In a lot of cases, when you do have steer by wire, there's a backup mechanical connection in case something happens. That is not the case in this Cybertruck, but Tesla says there are redundancies to where if something goes wrong with the steer by wire system, another component will step in and make sure it's all good. How does the steer by wire make this more maneuverable? Great question. When you have steer by wire, you're able to have this continually variable steering ratio. So I put in a certain amount of input and the vehicle can decide how much to turn, allowing me to have way more turning without having to steer the wheel a bunch. And that helps you be able to move around. Some people who have driven the truck say the rack controlling the front wheels is slow to respond to the inputs from the driver but I didn't think it was terrible. To be honest, this is a 6,700 pound truck, not a Miata. It's not gonna drive like one. Steer by wire also really helps when you have a non-round steering wheel like you do in the Cybertruck. So instead of me having to just go like this anytime I wanna maneuver the truck, I just move it a little bit and it's not so bad. The second feature to know about this Tesla Cybertruck is that it has a stainless steel body and I am not touching it because I will get fingerprints all over it. You might recognize stainless steel bodies from the DeLorean DMC-12 and you know, they look futuristic and interesting. Tesla's promo videos show the Cybertruck being hit with all kinds of objects, including hammers, and being totally fine. And Tesla CEO Elon Musk says he believes the truck to be very safe for occupants and pedestrians. But not everybody agrees. Reuters asked six automotive safety experts about the Cybertruck, and with the body, their main concern is if the stainless steel is as thick as it's supposed to be, that's going to be rough if it runs into somebody because muscles and skin, very, very soft. Cybertruck, very, very hard. That creates a lot of damage. Another thing with the stainless steel is although passerby think this is the coolest thing ever, it's really hard to clean. The owner of this truck said they had a detailer come clean the car and the detailer could not figure out how to get fingerprints off sat there for like three hours on YouTube trying to figure it out. You know how you get them off? Refrigerator cleaner. Many Cybertruck owners have wrapped their trucks, perhaps to avoid the constant fingerprint maintenance. Others have gone the other direction and buffed their stainless steel panels to a high polished finish. The third thing to know about the Tesla Cybertruck is the closable rear storage, including this power tonneau cover. This Cybertruck also has a hidden gear locker. If you take the dividers out of it, you could probably fit a backpack in there. And this is the one thing this truck has in common with a Honda Ridgeline. So you can brag to all your Ridgeline friends about it. You can also brag to your Ridgeline friends about the six foot long bed. After you fold the tailgate down, you can comfortably carry four by eight sheets of plywood back here. After all, Cybertruck owners are gonna use the bed to carry dirt and plywood. 
not just groceries, right? The fourth thing to know about this Tesla Cybertruck is that it has some really interesting controls and just necessary features. We start with the windshield wiper. There's only one of them, so when you wipe your windshield, it just goes like this. The second is that we don't have any door handles. You just pop a button and the door comes out. The third interesting control this Cybertruck has is something that a lot of Teslas have. It's bioweapon defense mode. And Tesla says you can literally survive a military grade bioweapon attack by sitting in your car when you use this mode. It just recirculates the air inside the car. Has that been tested? I don't, I, I don't think so in real life. Would I want to test it? No. The fifth thing to know about this Tesla Cybertruck is that it's got a couple of Easter eggs. And I'm just going to do the first one for you before I explain it. Ready? Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, it didn't go through. Now you're watching a Cybertruck video, so you might remember the debut of this truck, where they went on stage and Elon Musk was talking about how one day the Cybertruck will have armored windows. They decided to test it and they threw a metal ball at the windows and they shattered. <laughs> So instead of just hiding an embarrassment, they put a little Easter egg in the truck where you can smash the windows too and play the audio oh from the God. stage. <laughs> Second Easter egg is that our front light bar on the Cybertruck is one really, really long line with headlights on either side and your dome light up here mimics it. You might think the Cybertruck is ugly, unnecessary, a monument to human arrogance. Or you might view it as the perfect elixir for your insatiable need for attention. For better or for worse, everyone agrees that it's unique and there probably won't be another truck like it. Thanks so much for watching. Five interesting things to know about this Tesla Cybertruck. That's the Cybertruck. I'm Alanis King with Inside EVs and you can subscribe here or check out our website for more electric vehicle content.